UEFA's double standards, racism in football and the case of Kosovo. The world of football, often celebrated as a unifying force that transcends borders, has yet again been marred by controversy. In the aftermath of Kosovo's recent match against Romania, UEFA's decision to award Romania three points after the match was abandoned due to racist chants has sparked outrage and raised serious concerns about fairness, justice, and the governing body's commitment to combating racism. The incident, a reflection of persistent prejudices. During the match between Romania and Kosovo, fans from the host nation engaged in hateful, racist chants. Among the slogans were inflammatory messages questioning Kosovo's sovereignty and existence as a nation, which is not only offensive but also deeply political. These actions created a hostile environment for the Albanian players and fans alike. Faced with such blatant racism, the Albanian team made the difficult yet principled decision to abandon the match, prioritizing dignity and human decency over the game itself. However, instead of supporting Kosovo as the victims of this abuse, UEFA chose to reward Romania with a default victory. Hypocrisy and double standards, a tale of two responses. The outcome begs a critical question, would UEFA have made the same decision if a more prominent footballing nation had been the target of such abuse? Consider Germany as an example. If fans in a host country chanted slogans glorifying Nazism or invoked hateful rhetoric like Heil Hitler, there is no doubt that UEFA would have acted swiftly to penalize the offending nation. In such a scenario, Germany would likely have been awarded the three points as the victim of an intolerable situation. Similarly, nations like France, Spain, or England would undoubtedly receive the benefit of the doubt in similar circumstances. UEFA's track record has shown a tendency to protect larger, more influential nations while dismissing or minimizing incidents involving smaller or less powerful countries. This inconsistency lays bare the hypocrisy that undermines UEFA's claims of promoting equality and fairness. The victim becomes the villain. By penalizing Kosovo, UEFA has sent a troubling message, smaller nations are not entitled to the same protections as larger ones. Kosovo, already fighting for recognition and respect on the global stage, was further humiliated by this decision. Instead of standing in solidarity with the victims of racist abuse, UEFA effectively sided with the perpetrators, rewarding their hateful actions with a victory. This is not the first time smaller nations have faced such treatment. Across Europe, teams from marginalized or less influential countries have often found themselves on the wrong side of UEFA's decisions. These actions erode trust in the governing body and highlight the systemic inequalities within football governance. A failure to address racism. Racism has been a persistent issue in football, with numerous incidents reported across leagues and tournaments. UEFA, despite its public campaigns like Hash No to Racism, has consistently failed to back its words with meaningful actions. When the stakes are high, UEFA's responses often appear performative, serving as a facade rather than a genuine effort to eradicate racism from the sport. In this case, UEFA's failure to penalize Romania appropriately reinforces the idea that racism, especially when directed at smaller nations, is tolerated. Instead of taking a firm stance, UEFA's decision empowers and emboldens those who propagate hate. A call to action, the need for reform. Kosovo, Albania, and other nations that have faced similar injustices must reconsider their participation in UEFA tournaments. Why should they compete in an organization that fails to treat them with the respect and fairness they deserve? A collective withdrawal or boycott would send a powerful message, highlighting the need for systemic reform within UEFA. Furthermore, fans, players, and officials from all nations must unite in demanding accountability. Governing bodies like UEFA should not be allowed to perpetuate a culture of inequality and favoritism. The fight against racism requires collective effort, and institutions must lead by example, not by hypocrisy. Football's reckoning with racism and justice. The beautiful game is meant to unite, inspire, and elevate. Yet, incidents like the one involving Kosovo and Romania reveal the deep-rooted issues that plague the sport. UEFA's handling of this situation is a stark reminder that racism remains a significant challenge, and justice is often reserved for the privileged. If football is truly to be a sport for everyone, it is imperative for UEFA and other governing bodies to address their biases and uphold their commitments to fairness.
Until then, smaller nations like Kosovo will continue to suffer from the double standards that tarnish the integrity of the game. The question. The question remains, will UEFA learn from this, or will the cycle of hypocrisy and injustice continue?